My name is John Earl and I teach environmental education here at Calmont School. I'm thrilled to be here, thrilled about the, the things that we're doing. The kids are planting fruit trees, the kids are putting together solar cells, we're building a wind generator. Kids hear about global warming, they hear about extinction of species, fine. Now let's do something about it. If they don't get shown the way, if they don't see the adults working on these problems, uh, the world doesn't make any sense. Kids come out of their class and they look out and they see deer under the oak trees. Red-tailed hawks soaring down the slopes above. They are seeing a world that's beautiful. So why are we studying hard? Uh, why are we trying to fit into this world? Because it's a beautiful world. And they get it, they step out, they walk between classes, they go, oh yeah, this is why. I, I wanna be a part of this. We can help these kids. We can help them to fit into a, a rapidly changing world. Be honest, be yourself, be optimistic about the future. We go out on hikes. Some days we do solar cooking and we talk about how that can help the world. Sometimes the kids are turning the compost, which is a major solution for global warming. The kids are designing the overhangs over the windows this week and they're going to go out and build these and put covers over the windows at an angle so that it blocks the high summer sun. We go out every uh, winter and we enjoy the migration of the gray whales at Point Doom up on the hill there. And we're so close to the whales, often it's the mother and the baby gray whale, we can hear them breathing. And now we can talk about the quality of the ocean water. It needs to be clean for our friends, the whales. And uh, while we're up there, here come a lot of seabirds flying by. And everything is an opportunity for education. On another day, we take a, a field trip over in the, in the state park. I saw tracks of the, of the deer and I saw which shrubs they were nibbling on. Then I can apply that to what the Native Americans did here, because the Native Americans knew all of these animals and all these plants. No matter what field they go into, they're always going to be able to go out and find strength in nature. It'll pull them right back to this great uh, beginning they had in, the, in their elementary school and in their middle school. I don't know where the kids could get this kind of experience other than right here. So it's like, okay, I have the foundation for a great lifetime. I'm able to influence uh, the world near and far. That's for me is what education is all about.